This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on guys, Vincent here from the creativedojo.net. Welcome to another video review. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at a tool called Pro.io by my buddy, Justin Taylor. Basically, he co-developed this tool while working at a studio and he needed a tool like this, so he coded it, he made it, and he made it available for you guys to buy over A scripts and he made it more adaptable and modified it to where it's more adaptable to the general public. And it's a cool little tool that basically allows you to easily import and export stuff from applications like Adobe After Effects and Premiere. So work with both applications. And what it does is it allows you to create smart watch bin folders. So whenever you add files, remove files and all that stuff in those system directories, it will actually update in After Effects or Premiere. And so basically you start off by creating a new watch bin folder. You can either drag directories from your finder or explorer directly onto the Pro.io interface right here, or you can go ahead and click this button. And basically you can see that it has some nice little hover over animations and stuff, pretty unique for an extension for After Effects. Um, so here I'm gonna select, you know, a general project file folder structure here. Go ahead and hit open. And it's going to, you know, show my project folder right here as a watch bin. And so now you have some options here. So here is the name of the folder. Here is the directory. You can switch between absolute and relative path. And then you have some options like subfolders. So basically I selected a folder, right? Um, so you can either choose to ignore the subfolders. So it's not going to import anything in the subfolders. You can do include, which will include the subfolders and all the files in it basically imitating the folder structure that you already have on your system, or you can flatten. And this is kind of just like taking all the files and all the subdirectories and just throwing it into this folder right here. So it's not gonna recreate the folder structure, it's not gonna recreate the subfolders, but it's going to import all the files in those subfolders into the main folder right here. So generally I like to duplicate my folder structure on my system in After Effects. So I'll go ahead and hit the include button right here. And by default, it creates a folder and nothing in it. And so the whole idea is you need to sync it. So you just press this button right here. It's gonna sync all my watch bins. And as you can see, imported my folder structure from my system. And it has all my mats, light elements, audios, and all that nice cool stuff right here. And as you can see, if I refresh the panel here, you can see that all my watch bin folders have been imported and it includes all the subfolders. So if I add anything or modify any of these folders on my system, um, then it's going to import it into After Effects, which is great. So for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna go into my folder structure and I'm gonna go to my audio folder. And let's say I found some new audio files I want to include in my project. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag it and paste it into my new, uh, or my directory of my project, right? And so normally when you do this, After Effects has no idea what happened, right? After Effects is dumb. It's not gonna know that you added new files. It's not gonna auto import things. Um, but with Pro.io, since, you know, since the audio folder is a watch bin folder, um, you know, Pro.io will know that. So all you gotta do is hit sync. And it's gonna import the new stuff that we brought in and changed. So here we have all the audio files that we just brought in in the directory and it's smart enough to import everything into After Effects. So, so now you don't have to go in here and re-import files. You don't have to figure out what's new. You don't have to drag in and move stuff from your system directory over to new folders and then drag that into After Effects. You don't gotta do any of that stuff anymore. You know, it's smart enough, just hit sync and it's gonna sync up your folder structures on your system with After Effects. That's pretty cool here. And that's generally the first feature of Pro.io. Next you have export presets and basically, um, basically it uses After Effects presets that you already have and makes it more accessible. So, you know, all the render queue presets and output modules that you have in the render queue that you've created in the past, um, and you can create templates and look up on how to do that in After Effects. Um, basically it makes it easier to, to bind those presets into Pro.io. So for example, to create an export preset, go ahead and hit this new export preset button. I'm, I'm gonna name this, uh, dojo preset in general. And here I can select between using uh, media encoder as uh, my main uh, render engine here, or I can use After Effects. So I like to use After Effects when I'm in After Effects. And here you can change the output right here. Um, these are my custom templates that I've made in After Effects. So my ProRes 422, my animation alpha custom, my no alpha. 
you know, so you can select your, your own presets here, your render best settings. You can change your destination. I'm gonna select my render folder, hit open, and you can include um, a naming format. So this is the really, really cool part about ProAO is you can actually use like wildcard variables. So um, hashtag comp will name this file comp. You can do like a, you know, hashtag proj to include the project. It'll show a preview of the name right there. You can also do like hashtag VV for version. It's gonna iterate, you know, it's gonna search that directory and iterate it. So if it sees another one, it's gonna call it, you know, version two, version three, version four. So it's pretty cool dynamic naming. And of course you can always add more outputs, right? So you can do, you can render a ProRes version. You can render a lossless um, with alpha version. You can, you know, you can pretty much create unlimited outputs as a preset right here. So it's gonna render three of these out um, under best settings. And you know, once you hit close, this number one right here, you notice how it says dojo preset. Um, so now, you know, if I wanted to go to comp one and, you know, render it with my preset, go ahead and hit, so hit one. And it's going to auto populate the render queue for you. So now comp one's been added. All the output modules have been added with the right settings and the right output folder and the right naming structure. And so this just makes it a lot easier to set up your render queue and, you know, get all the output modules, get all the naming right, get all the directories right. And you can select multiple comps and just hit one. It's gonna all add it to the render queue very quickly, very easily. Very, very cool stuff. And there's some additional settings here in the app, which, you know, I wanna talk about, but basically you can refresh image sequences when you import them and update them. You can label your watch bin folders blue so you know which ones are watch bins and which ones aren't. Um, you can reduce the project trim comp to, you know, active area, work area. Um, you can also export your, uh, your export presets and, you know, give them to your coworkers or, you know, add them to your additional machines, or you can also go in here and edit the supported file extension list here, remove them, add them, whatever you want. Um, so that is basically the core of um, Pro.io. Basically helps you bring things in and helps you export them out very quickly. Um, it's very, very smart, it's very cool. Um, the pros, it's very simple, it's very easy. It, it just works, there's no complaints there. The only con for me is kind of like the UI. Um, it'd be cool to kind of set like an auto timer for a sync option so you don't have to manually sync it all the time per se. Um, I wish the UI was more responsive. So if I shrink this down, um, it'd be cool to maintain the same icon size where you can scroll or if I squash it vertical, I wish the icons would align itself vertical. Um, you know, just small little UI issues in my opinion, but overall, this is a very, very solid tool. Before I go, I wanna give a quick thanks to our sponsors over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the only one platform to make an amazing website, whether it's for your store, online business, or portfolio. They have amazing themes to choose from, fully customized ones to make it the way you want it to look like without any coding knowledge required. They have awesome 24 hour support, and best of all, you can use promo code DOJO at checkout to save 10% off your order and support the show. So check it out over at squarespace.com slash dojo. Squarespace, the number one place to create an amazing website. Now, who is Pro.io for? Is it for everyone? And the answer is no. You know, if you're a hobbyist, you don't need this. Um, if you're just, you know, messing around After Effects, Premiere, you're not a serious power user, you don't need this. This is a workflow tool. This is a pipeline tool. And so this is more aimed toward the people working in the studios, the freelancers, people who work with a lot of files and do a lot of um, exports and, you know, versions and stuff like that. So this is not a tool for everyone. This is for the power users. This is like for your, your immigration users, your background render users, um, you know, those kind of pipeline workflow kind of type people. Um, this is a fantastic tool if you're a serious power user though. Um, so I highly recommend it, pretty affordable. Let me know what you guys think about this tool, whether or not you would use it, whether or not you would buy it. Um, but this is basically the tool, Pro.io. Check it out over at ascripts.com. My name is Vincent Nguyen from the Creative Dojo, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.